Hello, my people. How are you all doing? I hope you all are doing okay. Win today, win tomorrow, and win forever. I would have made this video before now, but since how many days now, all is not well. Since how many days now, in fact, I've not been so happy. The, the thing happening in Nigeria now is just pissing me off. The way INEC conducted this election, INEC didn't handle the election properly. It was just a planned act. I said it's something they planned. They must have planned the results even before the election date. Because they knew they're going to switch the, the, the network off so that people will not be able to see all their manipulations, you know, on time. That chairman is so arrogant. You can see the way he's talking. He shows that he's very, very arrogant. I call it a fraud. I keep saying it's a fraud because Nigerians paid a lot of money just to make this election go smoothly. And the INEC chairman scattered everything. The INEC chairman, it will never be well with you. This kind of stress you're putting Nigerians into is not going to all go well with you. I saw the way you are talking to people as if you are the owner of this world. I saw the way you were just, you know, being so arrogant, being so sarcastic, answering people's uh, questions. Is that how you should behave? Is it because of the chicken money that APC has given to you? Is it because of the chicken money that you have gotten from this election? I keep saying it. The INEC chairman is the cause of this election problems. Why? Because he knew the machine that we are using, there was a problem. Why didn't he suspend the election so that they can sort out what the problem was? He carried on, you know, with the election. At the end of the day, they rigged it. This INEC chairman, eh, make her not go sleep for this night again, remember you. You are making a lot of Nigerians cry. Since Saturday, honestly, I just did. Since Saturday, I just did. The INEC chairman has collected a lot. They, are mo they must have bribed him a lot of money for him to sell his integrity, for him to sell his respect. What kind of country is this? What kind of country? Everything was going all right. People came out in peace to vote. At the end of the day, oh God. <sighs> Nigerians, all I want you guys to know that our problem now is the INEC chairman. The INEC chairman is the cause of all these problems we are having with these election results. That is the only problem we have now. The problem we have now is the INEC chairman. I do not know his name and I don't want to know his name and I don't care to know his name. I'm going to put a video here so that you can hear what Pastor Paul Enenche said. What God is doing for the nation is very clear. Is it not very clear? It's very, very clear. You don't need to. It's very clear. There is no doubt. So if anybody is demonic enough to temper with anything, you are a goner forever. Nobody's heart should fail him. There is no devil that is devilish enough to alter anything. They haven't born that devil. APC has called for the DSS, that's the Department of State uh, Services, to uh, invite Dr. Pastor Paul Enenche for questioning over what he said in the church on Sunday, being the 26th of February, 2023. My people, what Dr. Pastor Paul Enenche the general overseer of Dunamis Church said on Sunday, was what many Nigerians are saying at the moment. Pastor said that Peter will be won the election 
we all saw and heard the results from various uh, polling units. Paul Eneche is a human being like every other Nigerian. He knows the pain Nigerians are passing through for decades. We want a better Nigeria. Every day can hurry a crying in Nigeria at the moment. INEC has calmed we Nigerians by not awarding the election results accordingly. We all cannot fold our hands and watch all the broad daylight tips sealing our future. We want INEC to reveal to the whole world why they switch the BVS server off. INEC chairman must have been a recipient of bribes for him to have allowed the elections to continue. Even when the, um, even when the beavers were not working, a normal and sensible human being should have suspended the election or even stopped it at that particular moment when there was problems with the, with the BVS machines. Peter Obi was pulled out of this presidential seat because the rich ones in Nigeria wants to continue to get richer. We say no to corruption. Not be only Pastor Paul and AJ, where this uh, DSS go carry. We do many now. Many Nigerians are saying the same thing. You can't just carry only uh, Pastor Paul and AJ. You have to arrest the whole Nigerians. You have to arrest all of us. You can't just go and arrest uh, Pastor Paul and AJ because he hasn't done anything. If you want to arrest, arrest, arrest all Nigerians. Because all of us are saying the same thing. Obi won the election. Peter Obi won the election. But you stole it from him. We want Obi to be the president of Nigeria. We want Obi to be the president of Nigeria. That's the person we voted for. A lot of Nigerians voted for Peter Obi. Why did you steal his results and gave it to Tinubu? Ndioshi.